Have you ever felt an indescribable pull towards something greater? A calling that resonates deep within your soul? Perhaps you've noticed that people react to you in ways that seem almost magical, as if they see something in you that even you might not fully understand. This is not a coincidence. These are signs, often subtle but unmistakable, that the universe has marked you as someone special. The Chosen One But how do you know if you're truly a chosen one? Join me because today, we will unveil nine yun, deniable signs that scream you are the chosen one. Undeniable magnetism. The first sign that you may be the chosen one is an undeniable magnetism. This magnetism is not about physical attractiveness or superficial charm, but rather an inner light that draws people towards you. It's an aura of energy that captivates others, making them feel an inexplicable pull to, to be near you, listen to you and seek your presence. This magnetic quality is a powerful indicator of your spiritual significance and the unique role you play in the world. Imagine walking in, oh, a room, and immediately sensing that all eyes are on you. This isn't because of how you're dressed or what you're saying, but because of the energy you emit. People are naturally drawn to your presence, finding comfort, inspiration, or intrigue in your company. This kind of magnetism can, can be both a gift and a responsibility, as it means you have a profound influence on those around you. This magnetic quality as a sign of a higher calling in Hinduism, figures like Krishna are described as possessing an irresistible charm that draws people towards tea, hem regardless of their social status or personal circumstances, this magnetism often manifests in the way people react to you. Strangers might open up to you sharing their lift stories and secrets without knowing why people look up to you, not just for what you say or do, but for who you are. This is because your presence creates a sense of trust and safety. People feel seen and understood in your company, as if you have an innate ability to connect with their true selves. Consider the story of the Dal Lama, his serene demeanor and compassionate spirit draw countless individuals to seek his guidance and wisdom. Despite the hardship he has faced, his magnetic presence remains a beacon of hope and peace for many around the world. This kind of magnetism transcends cultural and linguistic barriers, resonating with the universal human longing for connection and meaning. Your magnetic presence also attracts opportunities and experiences that align with your higher purpose. It's as if the universe is conspiring to bring the right people and circumstances into, into your life to support your journey. The Kant's P.T. of Tay in Taism relates closely to this idea of inner magnetism. T is the virtue or power that flows from an individual who is in harmony with the toe, the fundamental nature of the universe. It is an effortless power that attracts and influences others without force. When you live in accordance with your true self and purpose, you naturally exude te, drawing people and opportunities towards you. However, this magnetism also comes with challenges. Being a focal point of attention can be overwhelming at times, especially when people project their expectation. As and needs onto you, it can be difficult to maintain personal boundaries and ensure that your energy is not depleted by the demands of others. This is where self-care and spiritual practices become essential. By nurturing your well-being, you can continue to shine brightly without burning out unexplainable dislike. Among the signs that indicate you may be the chosen one is unexplainable dislike. This might seem counterintuitive at first. After all, why would someone destined for greatness evoke negative feelings in others? Yet this phenomenon is deeply row. Boded in the nature of light and shadow and the spiritual dynamics that play out in the human experience. Imagine entering a room full of people. You are kind, courteous, and open-hearted. Yet there's tension from certain individuals who seem to feel unease in your presence. They might avoid eye contact, dismiss your ideas, or even speak against you without any apparent reason. This isn't about your behavior or personality. It's about what you represent. Unexplainable dislike often comes from an innate discomfort with the light you carry when you embody. A higher frequency those who are struggling with, their shadows can feel threatened. 
Your mere presence acts as a mirror, reflecting their unhealed wounds and unresolved issues. In spiritual terms, your light exposes the darkness within them, prompting a defensive reaction. This is not your fault, nor is it theirs. It's a natural response to the vibrational shift that occurs when higher and lower energies interact. Consider the story of Jesus and the Pharisees despite his message of love and compassion. He faced immense opposition from religious leaders. Their discomfort wasn't because of his actions, but because of the truth. He embodied his light shone so brightly that it highlighted their hypocrisy and fear, leading them to react with hostility. This historical example illustrates a timeless dynamic. The Chosen One often challenges the status quo simply by being in everyday life. Life? This unexplainable dislike can manifest in various ways. You might find yourself ostracized at work, misunderstood by friends, or even alienated within your own family. These experiences, while painful, serve a higher purpose. See they are tests of your resilience and integrity pushing you to stay true to your path. Despite external pressures, it's crucial to respond to this dislike with compassion and understanding. Recognize that those who react negatively are often unconsciously projecting their fears and insecurities. Their reactions are more about their internal battles than about you, by maintaining your center and responding with love rather than defensiveness. You not only preserve your peace, but also offer them an opportunity for healing. Embrace the unexplainable D.I. Slike as a sign of your awakening, it is a powerful indicator that you are on the right path stepping into your role as a beacon of light in a world that desperately needs your unique gifts. Sense of knowing the third sign that you might be the chosen one is an inexplicable sense of knowing. This inner knowing isn't about having all the answers or being omniscient. Instead, it's an intuitive understanding that guides you through life helping you navigate challenges and opportunities with a sense of clarity that others might find uncanny. Have you ever found found yourself in a situation where you just knew what to do even without having all the information this sense of knowing can manifest in various forms, such as gut feelings, sudden insights, or an unshakable conviction about a certain path? It's as if you have a built-in compass that consistently points you in the right direction. Even when the logical choice isn't clear, this inner knowing is often attributed to a deep connection with the divine or the higher self. It's believed that those who are chosen have a stronger link to this higher wisdom, allowing them to access insights that transcend ordinary understanding in Hindu philosophy. This is similar to the concept of Atman the innermost essence of a person that is connected to the universal spirit, Brahman. When you tap into your Atman, you align with a source of wisdom far greater than yourself. One illustrative example of this phenomenon comes from the life of Joan of Arc, a simple peasant girl. Joan experienced visions and inner guidance that led her to become a key figure in the French resistance against English occupation during the 100 years. Wore her unwavering belief in her divine mission. Despite her lack of formal education and the enormous risks involved, demonstrates the power of inner knowing. Her insights were so profound that they ultimately changed the course of history in your life. Life. This inner knowing might show up as a sudden clarity about your career path, an instinctive understanding of people's true intentions, or a sense of certainty about the direction you need to take in personal matters. These moments of clarity often come without rational explanation, yet they prove e to be remarkably accurate another way this inner knowing manifests is through an enhanced ability to perceive the underlying truths in any situation. You might find that you can see through superficial appearances and understand the deeper motivations and dynamics at play. This ability can be both a blessing and a burden. On one hand, it allows you to navigate complex social and professional landscapes with greater ease. On the other hand, it can make you acutely aware of the dissonance and deceit that others might not notice leading to feelings of frustration or isolation empathy, the fourth sign that you Maybe the chosen one is a profound sense of empathy.
This deep, almost pronatural ability to feel and understand the emotions of others sets you apart and positions you to make a significant impact on the world. Empathy is not just a passive experience for you. It's an active force that drives your actions and shapes your interactions. Have you ever been able to sense what someone else is feeling without them saying a word? This ability to tune into the emotional undercurrents around you is a hallmark of your empathetic nature. You might find yourself feeling the sorrow of a stranger, the joy of a friend, or the anxiety of a co-worker as if their emotions were your own. This deep connection to the emotional states of others allows you to offer comfort and support in ways that few can. In Buddhism, the Bodhisattva of Compassion Avalokitesvara embodies the highest form of, of empathy, dedicating themselves to alleviating the suffering of all beings. Your empathy not only connects you to the people around you, but also to the world at large, you might feel a deep sense of responsibility towards social. Environmental or humanitarian causes this profound empathy also allows you to see beyond the surface and understand the deeper motivations and struggles of those you encounter. You can sense when someone is in pain, even if they are hiding it well, and you know just how to offer comfort. This intuitive understanding can be a source of great strength, enabling you to build deep and meaningful connections with others. It's as if you have a direct line to the hearts of those around you, allowing you to, to, Ock their lives in profound ways, however, being highly empathetic also comes with its challenges. You might find yourself overwhelmed by the emotions. You observe, absorb from others, leading to emotional fatigue or burnout. It's crucial to develop strategies for managing this sensitivity, such as setting healthy boundaries, practicing self-care, and engaging in grounding activities by taking care of your emotional well-being. You can maintain your ability to support and uplift others without depleting your energy. Emulation, the fifth sign that you may be the chosen one is the phenomenon of emulation people. Often emulate your actions, adopt your mannerisms, and follow your example. Without you actively trying to lead them, this goes beyond mere admiration. It is a reflection of the profound impact your presence and behavior have on those around you. Think about a time when you noticed others starting to pick up on your habits or ways of thinking. Maybe a colleague began using your phrases, a friend adopted your approach to problem solving, or even a family member started mirroring your day-daily routines. Hey, his imitation is a testament to the magnetic influence you possess, and the unconscious way people recognize your authenticity and strength, consider the disciples of Prophet Muhammad. May peace be unto him who sought to emulate his teachings and lifestyle. They followed him closely, learning from his actions, and striving to embody his principles in their own lives similarly in the teachings of, of Confucius, the concept of Juni, or the superior person, emphasizes living in a way that others naturally want to follow. The Juni leads by example demonstrating V. Ertus that others aspire to adopt, however, being a model, for others also brings a sense of responsibility as the chosen one. You must be mindful of the behaviors and attitudes you exhibit. Knowing that others are looking to you for guidance, this awareness can drive you to continually strive for personal growth and self-improvement, ensuring that the example you set is one worth following in dealing with the pressures of imitation. It's important to maintain a balance between being true to yourself and considering the impact of your actions on others, or the anticity is key people are drawn to you because of who you genuinely are not because of a facade by staying grounded in your values and principles, you ensure that the influence you wield is positive and transformative. Guidance, the sixth sign that you may be the chosen one, is your natural ability to offer guidance. People frequently turn to you for advice and direction. Sensing that you possess an inner wisdom and clarity that can help them navigate their challenges. This ability to guide others is not about having all the answers, but about providing G insights that resonate deeply and inspire positive action. Have you ever found yourself being the go-to person for friends, family, or colleagues when they face dilemmas or important decisions? 
This inclination to seek your guidance is a clear indication of the trust and respect people have for your judgment. Your perspective seems to carry a weight that others value, often bringing them clarity and comfort in times of uncertainty. Consider the role of the oracle at Delhi in ancient Greece. People from all walks of life would travel great disdain. Says to seek the oracle's wisdom, believing that she could offer divine insights that would guide their actions, similarly in many indigenous cultures. The shaman or spiritual leader is sought out for their ability to connect with higher realms and provide guidance based on spiritual knowledge. Your ability to guide others effectively often stems from a combination of empathy, intuition, and life experience. You have a knack for seeing the bigger picture, understanding the nuances of a situation, and offering advice that cuts to the heart of the matty. Our this gift is deeply rooted in your journey of growth and self-discovery, which equips you with the tools to help others on their paths. When offering guidance, you might find yourself drawing from various sources of wisdom, including spiritual teachings, personal experiences, and intuitive insights. This holistic approach ensures that your advice is not only practical, but also aligned with deeper truths. You can tap into the essence of a problem and provide solutions that resonate on both a practical and spiritual level. One of the key aspects of providing effective guidance is listening by truly. Listening to others, you create a space where they feel heard and understood. This deep listening allows you to discern the underlying issues and offer insights that are both relevant and transformative. It also helps you build strong trust-based relationships, which are essential for effective guidance. Another important aspect of your guidance is empowering others. Instead of simply providing answers, you inspire people to discover their strengths and solutions. You help them see their potential and e. Encourage them to trust their intuition and capabilities. This empowerment is a crucial part of your role as the chosen one, as it fosters independence and self-reliance in those you guide to nurture your gift of guidance. It's important to continue developing your knowledge and skills. Engage in lifelong learning. Whether through formal education, spiritual practices, or personal exploration, the more you grow, the more you have to offer to those who seek your guidance. Additionally, seek out your mentors and guides who can support you on your journey, ensuring that you remain grounded and uninspired. It's also essential to maintain humility in your role as a guide. Recognize that you are a conduit for wisdom and that the guidance you offer is part of a larger divine plan. This humility keeps you open to learning from others and ensures that your guidance is always offered with compassion and respect. Reassurance Another sign that you may be the chosen one is that people often seek assurance and validation from you. This goes beyond the usual desire for approval. It's a deeper need for affirmation and recognition that they sense you uniquely possess. People look to you not just for your opinion, but for an acknowledgement that gives them confidence and a sense of worth. Have you ever noticed how friends, family members, or even colleagues come to you for reassurance or validation? even in areas where they might be quite capable or knowledgeable. They might ask, What do you think about this? Or do you think I'm on the right track? They value your perspective so highly that your affirmation holds significant weight in their lives. This phenomenon is D. Ply rooted in the energy and presence you exude. As the chosen one, your words and actions carry an inherent authority and authenticity that people are drawn to your validation provides them with a sense of security and self-worth, often more impactful than that of others. Your ability to offer meaningful validation is time TI to your deep empathy and understanding of others. You have an intuitive grasp of what people need to hear to feel seen and appreciated. This gift allows you to uplift and empower those around you, helping them to see their val. Ue and potential, however, with this power comes responsibility. It's important to offer validation genuinely and thoughtfully. People place great trust in your words, and insincere or superficial validation can do more harm than good. Take the time to truly understand the person and the context before offering your affirmation. This ensures that your validation is both sincere and impactful. 
In your interactions, aim to emulate this kind of genuine validation focus on recognizing the inherent worth and unique qualities of the individuals who seek your approval. You, our ability to see and articulate their value, helps them to internalize and believe in their strengths. Your role in providing validation also involves guiding people towards self-validation. Encourage them to recognize and appreciate their achievements and qualities. This not only empowers them, but also fosters a sense of independence and self-reliance by helping others to validate themselves. You are contributing to their long-term growth and confidence. The ancient Greek concept of eudonia, often translated as flourishing or well-being speaks, t. Oh, this idea Aristotle believed that true happiness comes from fulfilling one's potential and living following one's true nature. Your validation can help people move towards this state of UD demonia. By recognizing and nurturing their authentic selves in professional settings, your validation can enhance team dynamics and individual performance. When colleagues seek your approval, it indicates their respect for your judgment and leadership offering thoughtful and constructive validation can boost their confidence and motivation, leading to greater pro. Ductivity and collaboration in personal relationships. Your validation can deepen connections and foster mutual respect. This creates a supportive environment where everyone feels valued and empowered in moments of self-doubt. People often look to you as a mirror that reflects their best qualities and potential. By offering Val validation, you help them to see themselves more clearly and positively. This process of reflection and affirmation is a powerful tool for personal and collective growth. Intense obsession. A common sign that you may be. The chosen one is the peculiar and often intense obsession others have with your failures and mistakes. This phenomenon is more than just casual interest. It's a fixation that can manifest in various ways from gossip and criticism, ISM, to scrutiny and judgment. This focus on your missteps, however small, is a testament to the impact and influence you. Wield, have you ever felt that your mistakes are blown out of proportion compared to those of others? This is not just paranoia. It's a real indicator of the weight your actions carry. People tend to hold ye day out of higher standards and your errors are magnified because of the significant role you play in their lives. And the broader community leaders and visionaries like Mahatma Gandhi and Martin Luther King Jr. faced relentless criticism and were judged harshly for their perceived failings. Their opponents often used their mistakes to discredit their larger missions. This focus on their flaw was not just about personal attacks, but an attempt to undermine the transformative impact they were having on society. Your experience of being closely watched and judy, jed for your mistake signifies the high expectations and the powerful presence you hold people may see your failures as a way to bring you down to a more ordinary level, a way to cope with the extraordinary qualities and influence you exhibit. This obsession is a recognition, albeit a negative one of your uniqueness and the significant role you play. Understanding this phenomenon can help you navigate it more effectively. First, recognize that this heightened scrutiny is part of the territory of being the chosen one. It's a sign of the significant impact ye I'll have and the high standards people. Expect from you this awareness can help you not take the criticism too personally and instead see it as an indication of your influence. Second, use these experiences as opportunities for growth and resilience. Every failure and mistake, while uncomfortable, offers valuable lessons. Reflect on these moments to understand what went wrong and how you can improve this process. Not only helps you grow, but also demonstrates to others your commitment to self-improvement and accountability. Another important uh, aspect is to maintain your integrity and authenticity. People are drawn to you for your genuine qualities and the unique energy you bring even when you make mistakes. Staying true to yourself and your values can mitigate the negative impact. Authenticity builds trust and respect which withstand the occasional misstep in professional settings. This heightened scrutiny can be particularly challenging. Colleagues and superiors may be quick to point out your mistakes sometimes to undermine your position or achievements in such situations. Maintai. Inning a calm and composed demeanor is crucial. Acknowledge your mistakes openly and use them as stepping stones for improvement. 
This approach not only diffuses tension, but also sets a art powerful example of leadership and accountability in personal relationships. This obsession with your failures can strain bonds and create feelings of isolation. Friends and family members might hold you to higher standards expecting you to be infallible. Open communication is key. Here, share your feelings and experiences with those close to you helping them and understand the pressures you face the Buddhist concept of Impermanence teaches that everything in life, including our mistakes and failures, is transient. Embracing this perspective can help you maintain a balanced view of your experiences. Recognize that each failure is temporary and an integral part of your journey by learning from them and moving forward, you continue to grow and evolve shift in perception. Finally, a profound aspect of being recognized as a chosen one is the noticeable shift in perception that others have towards you over time. This transaf formation goes beyond mere admiration or respect it. Represents a fundamental change in how people perceive your presence, actions, and even your essence. Have you observed how people's attitudes and reactions towards you have evolved as you've progressed on your journey? Initially, they may have seen you as just another individual, but as you embrace your calling and purpose, their perception begins to shift. They start to recognize a certain depth presence or aura around them that sets them apart from others. This shift in perception often manifests in VE, various ways people may begin to approach you with a sense of reverence or awe acknowledging the wisdom and guidance you offer in spiritual and historical contexts. Figures regarded as the chosen ones often experience a profound shift in how they are perceived by others, from prophets and spiritual leaders to visionary artists and social reformers. These individuals embody qualities that resonate deeply with people's aspirations and values. Their presence evokes a sense of inspiration and transformation, catalyzing movements and shifts in consciousness. Your journey as the chosen one may involve overcoming doubts and challenges to fully embrace your role and purpose as you align more deeply with your calling. Others begin to see you as a source of inspiration and guidance. Your authenticity and integrity shine through, leaving a lasting impression on those around you. It's important to approach this shift in perception with humility and gratitude. Recognize that your influence extends beyond personal achievements to touch the lives of others in meaningful ways. Embrace the responsibility that comes with being seen as a role model and strive to embody the values and principles that ends inspire others in practical terms. Nurturing this shift in perception involves continuing to grow and evolve as a person. Cultivate self-awareness to understand how your actions and choices impact those around you in this process. Self-reflection becomes a vital tool. The ancient Greek philosopher Socrates famously said, Know thyself. This principle is foundational for any chosen one. Understanding your strengths, weaknesses, fears, and desires helps you navigate your path with a ute. Henticity and grace, this allows you to connect deeply with your inner self and the divine guidance that flows through you. Seek opportunities for personal and spiritual growth, knowing that your journey toward authenticity and purpose inspires others to do the same as you. Ponder these signs. Remember that being the chosen one is not about perfection. It's about recognizing the divine within you and embracing your journey with an open heart and mind. Each sign is a piece of your unique path weaving together to reveal a destiny that only you can fulfill the row. Add ahead may be challenging, but it is also filled with profound beauty and purpose. Trust in the signs, trust in yourself, and know that you are exactly where you are meant to be. So the next time you experience one of these signs, take a moment to reflect on the person who might be thinking of of you and let the warmth of their thoughts fill your heart. These moments are gifts, precious reminders that you are loved and cherished and that the threads of connection that weave through your life are as magical as they are real. Stay open to the signs, embrace T. He connections and celebrate the love that flows through your life, knowing that somewhere someone is thinking of you with affection and longing, creating ripples of joy and connection that touch your soul.
I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.